So I might have done something that tuner would not really approve of. We actually took the intake off of the Pro Charger. You think it'll blow up? Do I think it's gonna blow up? No, okay. I, I don't think it's gonna blow up. Eight pounds of boost and never broke. Oh yeah, it's a successful trip, mate. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on White Claw. So to catch you guys up to speed a little bit, whenever we're driving the car, it has got a horrible shake to the front end, like the steering wheel, wheels axles, transmission, motor mount. I'm not 100% sure what it is yet, but my first guess is going to be axles because it only shakes under acceleration. We got some axles for the car. We're gonna get those swapped in, and then afterwards, we're gonna take it for a drive and see if it fixes the issue. I don't know if it's gonna fix it, but with my plans for this car and the turbo kit I wanna eventually put on it, we should <laughs> hopefully be needing another set of axles soon. So, went ahead and got these and uh, should be a good baseline to go ahead and get started with mods for this car. So anyways, let's get to opening these axles and uh, get them slapped in the car. Uh, uh, two axles incoming. Is there anything else in here? No. Nah. These axles actually came from Redline 360 and I just want to stop and give a humongous thank you to Redline 360 for actually sponsoring these axles. And if you don't know who the Redline 360 is, it is actually a company that is basically just a one-stop shop for anything you need. They have bushings, shifters, axles, clutches. I was looking to see what they had for an Acura. I was like, damn, they got axles. I could actually use some axles. So I reached out to them and they were kind enough to actually send some over for the car to help me try and diagnose what the issue is that I'm chasing down right now. So 2002-2006 Acura RSX Type S Stage 2 drive shafts. But I still don't know which one is left and right. The same on either side. They are different. Okay. So if you look at the two, this side's the same. This side is not the same. So um, whenever I pull those out, I should know immediately which goes where. Red line. Thank you guys. I appreciate you for sending over some axles. Hopefully we can get some more parts from you in the future to continue this build. But for now, it's time to go ahead and slap these in. And um, God, I hope this fixes the issue. Oh, that felt wonderful. <laughs> There's a spline key on here. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, I don't know if I have a spline for these. I am about to do something so cursed. Wait. Wait, before I, I get ahead of myself and tear something up, let me look inside of the car to make sure that there's no key in here that I don't know about. And I forgot, there's also not a center console. Ah, I was right. No, that was gonna be a good idea though. You're lucky today, White Claw. So plan of attack at the moment is going to be to disconnect the ball joint on the tie rod and also disconnect the ball joint on the lower control arm. So then that will allow me to rotate it any way I need and also pull the bottom out to get the axle separated from the hub. So we'll start with that and see if it works. Okay, now we just gotta get this big ass axle nut off. A few moments later. Well, we went to the store and we got a socket that fits now and I went ahead and found some fake titanium lug nuts to match Zoe. So we're gonna have the cheap ass lug nuts on White Claw and then the fucking like $200 lug nuts on that car. I was lucky they only had one socket in stock that would work on a half inch impact that would fit on this. That's what I'm talking about, boy. See, so that's out, boom. It should turn freely. And there's still the tie rod. Oh, the sway bar. Forgot about the sway bar. 
Yeah. It's... There we go. So now the sway bar is disconnected back here. Your tie rod's disconnected. We gotta get the lower control arm disconnected. I'm gonna just spray it and hopefully at some point it comes off and I am going to just move on over to the other side. Yep, this side's off. You got it off? Yep, this side just came right off. What a surprise, that always happens. All right, so we get the, the axles pretty much out and we can swing this out, out of the way. Come on now, let's give it a little tug. All right, we're gonna need a screwdriver. Got it. So the next one that we need is this one. Nice. This part should be a lot easier. There we go. And now we can stick this back in here, put the axle back in, slide it on through that booty hole. Oh yeah. Wow, this side's done. We got a new axle in. Well, this side's not done. I didn't put it back together yet, but we got an axle in. So axle nut on, secure that hoe. It's on there. Tighten the sway bar up. Tie rod. This side's all finished. We got a new axle. Woo. And I still can't get the ball joint on this side apart. See, it was supposed to be like that side where you just boom, 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 slide in and out and then back together and it's done. But then you run into obstacles like this where you get an old car and the ball joint doesn't want to separate. Ooh, that clip. Ooh, that clipped the inside of my thigh. I'll be honest, that shit stings. I can't drive any of these cars and take you to the hospital. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm just curious though. <laughs> right there. Oh. Yeah, I just clipped myself on the inside of my thigh. God damn, that shit hurt. We putting some heat to it. Hopefully this works. We got it. Did we go? It's off. So now we can go ahead and get the axle swapped out. And I also noticed that this is not the only axle for this side. There is another axle on the inside, like right here. So you have an axle coming out of the transmission and then your axle goes into that axle. I might be able to just pull it apart. We'll see. I did not mean to separate it like that. Oh no, it won't go back together. So I gotta figure out how to get it out now. So I think I got it. <laughs> I definitely separated this axle. Now we can put this axle back in. There we go. Last ball joint. You see, we get these scissors and we cut these lug nuts open, man, because we gonna put these on the car. Destruction! These won't look that bad, actually. Swag. All right. Are you ready, partner? I have not been informed of the activities, so I'm not quite sure if I'm prepared. We just going for a little bow ride. Oh, okay. So. Oh, okay. Then I am prepared. White Claw got new legs. Yes, White Claw did get some new legs. Ain't getting no feet though. It's okay. Still it's got okay. the same it's feet. Still got shoes. The it's got feet and shoes and just need new legs. Legs are pretty important. I think the most important I'm gonna part prove it. Look, dude, it's been months. A, I haven't uploaded a video in like four months from the time of me filming this. So we got a- Return of the Zorg. We got a- Yeah, VTech works. Damn, that's the first time I've ever actually hit second gear like that. Oh my okay. God. Oh dude, hang on. I had the AC on. Why? My bad. I didn't mean to have the AC on like that, bro. Let me try that again. Oh, it skirted the tires! Oh, man. This thing sounds pretty good. An exhaust would be... Yeah, it really does need an exhaust. So anyways, 
we can actually do pulls in the car. That was two back to back. The car wasn't actually violently shaking itself to pieces. That was the issue before, is that every time I would drive it, even just casually getting it up to the speed limit, <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, the, sp the steering wheel would literally just shake itself left and right, and I couldn't figure out what it is, and it was only happening under acceleration. So, now that we got new axles on the car, it's not shaking itself to pieces. I also did discover that one of the axles was missing the axle nut. Fun fact. Oh, yeah, so that might have, so the axles might have been fine, so but missing that nut could have caused the, the axle to vibrate a little bit if the geometry was off. But regardless of the situation, the yeah. car is running now. But this is where uh, this is where it, get in, it gets interesting because this is where I'm going to need your guys' input a little bit. Damn, I did not expect that cop to be right there. I wasn't speeding though, so it's okay. Hang on, I'm going to get, I'm, I'm distracted, so I'm going to get past him first. Yeah. New. Yeah. Things I'm going to do. First off, it does need some bushings. The car has 206,000 miles. It's pretty rough, it's pretty loose. It's still on stock wheels and tires, so once we get aftermarket wheels and tires on it, then it should get a little bit more responsive with the steering. Did you try to get us pulled over? <laughs> I mean, the car's not even moving that much though. After that, we can start talking about power adders. So far, I'm feeling a turbo kit. Although I haven't figured out what turbo kit I want to put on this car because there's a few of them. I'm thinking about just getting one off of Amazon or eBay. That's like a thousand dollars. Comes with a lot of universal parts, and it's kind of just like a, a DIY, do-it-yourself kind of kind of turbo kit. And me and Poe talked about working on that together. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, also me and Nick are also now uh, picking up some lunch because neither of us have eaten yet. This is our three o'clock lunch. Yeah, three o'clock lunch. No big deal. Thank you for choosing Jimmy John's. Hi, I'm here to pick up an order for Nick. All right, you pour out the window. Thank you. Okay, Damn, I guess. with a female voice and it ended yeah. with a male voice. That was wicked. So, yeah, as you can hear, the throw bearing is squeaking a lot. If you push the clutch in, it goes away. So, we're going to have to probably separate the trans and get that replaced at some point. Steering, bushings, wheels, tires, alignment. That'll be coming up real soon for it. I really want to get a short throw shifter for this thing. The steering wheel needs to be replaced. That's pretty bad. Um, and we're also, I'm probably gonna get the windows tinted because the tent all the way around is pretty rough and it's pretty gross. And I think that's about it besides like just more horsepower. I'm just waiting for this engine to blow up. Like I just, I'm waiting to see something go wrong. Yeah, it's a, Honda a lot of miles and it's been fine so far. Ooh. It sounds dope. All right, so you ready for, ready for a little launch? Yeah. Uh, rev it pretty high, see how it goes. The car has fucking launch control. The car only revs to 5,000 whenever you have the clutch pushed. Wait, was that a soft limiter? No, it was a hard limiter, but the car literally has a two-step built into it from factory. Was that the Volvo? Yeah. Vol? Yeah, it wasn't revving the red line. It was only revving to 5,000. I can't believe there is a launch control in this car. It's a 2003 and it has a fucking launch control on it. I'm gonna do it coming back in okay, so everybody can look at me like I'm an, I'm an idiot or something. Let's do, Let's do it. So watch this rev limiter. See the RPM? Yeah. That's dope. That's so freaking cool. It has two step. Bro, I've never had a car. Well, the, the Mustang has a two step, but I wonder if my- Bro, I'm gonna be digging the hell out of this car whenever it's fast. Fuck yeah, White Claw. <laughs> no laws in White Claw, baby. I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Go eat sandwiches. Yeah, we're gonna go eat sandwiches. That's it for this video. White Claw is back. White Claw is fixed. We can start driving it. We can team the autocross. Do all kinds of shit. Yeah. Nick is, oh, Nick is looking at me like I'm a fucking weirdo. Hey man, mind yo business boy nick is talking shit anyways thank you guys for watching redline 360 thank you guys for helping make this video possible without them we wouldn't have had these axles and wouldn't got the car street worthy again we got a little bit more work to do but that was some solid progress so anyways guys thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one